man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 PS2 Career Mode. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen, in Season 3 Career Mode. About to do Race 8 of 36, going to Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama for the running of the Aaron's 499. Last race was at Texmo Speedway, and oh my gosh, was that the best race I've ever ran, ever, in this career mode. Um, the car handled well, the car was bad fast, pit crew did well, everything went the right direction in that Texas race. And the final few laps was intense. If you guys have not seen the Texas race yet, before you watch this race, I recommend you going to watch the Texas race because it was just probably the best race ever so far in this NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. Um, so anyways, moving on. Got a new scheme. I'm using a burst scheme now. So it's a different design. I like it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, right now, let me go into team management to show you what's going on with that. Uh, in the chassis shop, building chassis number 7 for 8 more races and overhauling chassis number 5 for 1 more race. In the engine shop, I am uh, building engine number 8 for 8 more races and overhauling engine number 6 for 1 more race. And, let's see. And for the bodies, I'm building body number 8 for 6 more races and overhauling body number 6 for 1 more race. Shop Editions, got five more races until the Shock Dino comes in. That should help me out with the tire grip. So let's go right in the race weekend. Uh, chassis, uh, let's do um, chassis number four. Engine, got to do engine number seven. And body, got to use by number... See, that has better downforce, but I want drafting at this track, so I got to go with uh, body number seven because of the drafting. It's a car range 64, so it's down by one. Than the last race, but that's okay. Let me get on the qualifying and see where I'll start. Into the trial now here at Talladega Super Speedway. First lap, 5375. Saying 43rd right now. And this lap's gonna be definitely faster. 52, 52, and 39th. Ah. Alright. Well, I mean, I could still win from back there, but wow, 39th. I did not expect that low. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything special, but I didn't expect that low either. So let me go on the race, see what happens. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series visits the famous Talladega Super Speedway today for the Aaron's 499. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live to bring you all the action. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Some drivers will tell you that finishing with their car in one piece here is just as good as a win. The close racing makes it very exciting for the fans, but very nerve-wracking for the drivers. Ricky Craven will start this race a little farther back than he's used to. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. But Cheerios Dodge doesn't have too good of a record at these big super speedways. Well, I agree, but remember, Joe, everybody has a chance at these super speedway tracks. I wouldn't count him out of it yet. It's all about being in the right place with a few laps to go. The 82 car just couldn't get up to speed in qualifying this week. Yeah, he was due for one of these bad starts, though. Nobody can start up front all year. You're going to have a bad qualifying run now and then. <laughs> The engines have fired and the cars are rolling off pit road here at Talladega Super Speedway. Robbie Gordon and Jeff Gordon starts on the front row. Let's get this race here at Talladega Super Speedway underway.
into the drive wheel now to complete the first lap here at Talladega, Talladega Super Speedway. Gain a couple spots already. I've noticed that Sterling Marlin, who's the points leader coming into this race, started back in the field with me. He started 40th. That's crazy. Sterling Marlin didn't have a good qualifying run at all. Trying to use the share draft on Terry Labonte. Might use it on Sterling Marlin since he's going to be faster. All right. Going to use some share drafting. That big pack already pulled away. So for this race, I'm going to do the two-tire strategy. Just like I do in all restricted plate races. To help me gain some track position. Finally got to the rear bumper of uh, Terry Labonte. Took a little while. I should probably share draft with Sterling Marlin though. Probably be better off with him. Dang, Terry Labonte pulls away from me at times so. though. Maybe I'll build up an ally with him. The 40 car is looking to pass. Jeez, Terry Labonte, wait for me. out much being back here want to be up fur further in the field than that I was kind of surprised I qualified this far back actually right, Ashton Lewis Terry Labine again. Doesn't look like that's happening right now. The 16 car up high. Oh yeah, right pass, buddy. They're all around. Sorry, Terry Labine. I was still gone with you. Uh, I might have to, actually. Maybe even Stan Barrett, alright. heading down pit road right now. Seems a little early to come down pit road, huh? I mean, whatever. I ain't pitting yet. So I'm using the share draft with Stan Barrett right now. I got Kevin Grubb on the outside of me. He's in that 45 now, not Kyle Petty. Oh, wow. Pick up some more cars. Actually, everybody else is coming down. Oh, crap. I should have pitted at that time. I'm going to lead the lap, actually, here at Talladega. Okay. You just picked up five points for leading that lap. I hope I don't run out of fuel. Crap. I must have just made a mistake. All right. Watch the cars coming out of the pits, buddy. Be careful. 1.1. I should be fine. I should be able to have enough fuel. Just watching the fuel gauge. So I just led a lap at Talladega Super Speedway. 4.7. I should be fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm barely going to make it. Yeah, just barely though. 
Alright, here I come down Pirot. I have to go all the way down to 70 miles per hour. Not bad. Uh, your right side tires at least. No. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Let's have a good two tire pit stop though. Come on. Uh, still half second slower than the estimated time, but it's okay. Oh, should I just block this traffic? I'm gonna do this. There's Jeff Gorin. Yep, there he comes. I'm just gonna do this, guys. I could be the race leader. Oh, I slowed Jeff Gorin down. Nice. Oh, yeah, big lead. Okay. I'm leading the race somehow. <laughs> I was back in the 30s. Oh, two tire pits. Oh, man, is Kevin Harvick coming, though? And Dale Jr. All right, guys, time to play the blocking game. See how long I can hold the race lead for. I've shot having back-to-back -back victories. No, no, Harvick. We're scoring. Oh, God. There he is up there. Oh, man. Blocking. <laughs> Ten laps to go here at Talladega. Lean the race. Ten, buddy. Ten laps to go. Oh, two tire strategies. Aren't they wonderful? And uh, look at all. Look at this pack behind me. Nope. Oh, junior, no. Junior Nation might go wild here. Ooh. Woo. Ooh, don't go in the wall. Well, I have two straight victories, guys. I did that in, uh, got two wins in season. I didn't get a win in season one of the career mode. Got two wins in season two. Got to get my second win here in season three. Go back-to-back -back victories. I'm going to have to try to hold on for nine more laps, but, man, it's going to be tough blocking all these lanes. Halfway done. Still got another pit stop coming up. Oh. <gasps> no! Oh, gosh darn it. Sorry, Junior. <laughs> God. Well, I just shoved, shoved Junior out of line now. He's going back there now. I just want to hold the lead. I'm trying, guys. Really am. Got Mark Marn behind me now. Number six is looking left. Got Jeff going up high. Mark Marn down low. Going high. Going low. Got Waltrip back there. Is that Jamie McMurray? Out just outside the top five. What a good run he's having. That is him. Yeah, it is Jamie McMurray. What a good run for him. I'm doing all I can to block, guys. Murray making some moves, but he's coming down pit road, it looks like. Yep. I'm still gonna stay out. Number 29 is right behind you. Jamie, I mean, not Jamie McMurray. Jeremy Mayfield all of a sudden in the top three. Holy crap, he's having a good run too. I've noticed. Uh, Jeremy Mayfield has been doing really well uh, this season in NASCAR Thunder 2004. I mean, he's not in the top 10 points, but he's doing a decent job. His qualifying has been well, doing well. Yep, 
Mayfield's coming in. Oh, Harvick! Harvick's about to spin! Wow, Harvick! Got into the outside wall and almost lost it with Tony Stewart. No, I think Harvick pulled up right in front of Tony Stewart and almost turned himself. Wow, that just helped me out, actually. Alright, I'm going to pit this time by, guys. Pitting this time by. I'm going to make my final pit stop coming up right here. That might just help me out to win this race. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm pitting right here, guys. Making my final pit stop. speed nice nice entry right right side tires only let's have another all right we were half a second slower on the last pistol let's have let's not do that again although it still helped me out still led the race let's have another good pit stop right here just right side tires nice good job a tenth faster than their estimated time. Good. And we got five laps to go right here, guys. Who stayed out? Robbie Gorn stayed out right now. All right, guys. My pit crew, not a bad job. Oh, man, I got a big lead right now, but how long can I hang on to that before they catch me I got a big lead oh that's a massive lead but they're gonna catch me pretty quickly hopefully not too quickly I'm coming the four laps to go this time around What two tire strategies could do. If see if my pit crew did that at Daytona, I probably could have won the Daytona 500 as well. We just the most laps led. Right. 5.8 seconds point. ahead of Jeremy Mayfield and Jay McMurray. I mean, those two are going to be second, third. So 5.8 seconds. And guess what, guys? If you heard my crew chief, he said I've led the most laps in this race. So I got 10 bonus points. Nice. That's more bonus points. Helps me out in the points, you know what I mean? Alright, I was 5.8 seconds at the line there. Let's see what I'm going to be here uh, once I come back around. Wow, that left front tire is showing some wear, but it shouldn't really matter too much. I think I'll still be okay. 3 laps to go here at Talladega Super Speedway. Guys, can I make it Three, I mean, two straight wins. Wow, three straight wins. I'm thinking over myself. Ooh, 3.8. I lost two seconds that lap. Yeah, they're going to gain on me with that pace. It might be 1.8 seconds next time around. So I'm going to have to probably play the blocking game before this race is over. Oh boy. Two laps to go right here at Talladega Speedway. Can I make a back to back wins? Let's see what the interval is now 2.4. They actually only gained 1.4 seconds on me that lap. I will say this is not as nerve-wracking as it was at Texmo Speedway when I pulled off the win at Texas. It's not as nerve-wracking. Yeah, this race is not as nerve-wracking. This is pretty easy. Texas was pretty intense. Yeah, they're going to gain on me. It's only two cars, though. It's only uh, Dale Knight Jr. and Jamie McMurray at the moment that I have to worry about. 
It's not all too bad. I'd rather that than a pack of cars. All right, guys. White flag in the air. Final lap here at Talladega Super Speedway. comes Dale Knight Jr. and Jamie McMurray. Oh, they're trying to get low. Oh, man. Block Jr. Oh, who's blowing up up here? That was uh, Chase Montgomery. Blocking high, blocking low. Here comes McMurray. And into the trial. How about this? Back to back wins in the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. Win number two of the season. Two tire strategy pays off. Oh my gosh, guys. Back to back wins. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. I would say this this one is not as exciting as it was at Texas though, but it still feels good. This still feels good to win. Yeah, I'm not creating a lot of smoke here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I didn't blow the engine with this one. <laughs> back to back wins in the career mode. Second win of the season, my fourth career in NASCAR Thunder 2004 uh, career mode win. Should increase my chances in the point standings too. I came into this race 10th in the point standings. And next race is going to be at Martinsville. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that race and how well I'm going to do. Kind of not looking forward to that race, but the race man, this feels good. Wire with a very close finish. Wow, you know, you're yeah, right. it was that close. Was an incredible finish to an even more incredible race. This NASCAR Winston Cup Series is so exciting to watch. The 82 car was the car to beat all race long. Doesn't get much better than that. He led the most laps, and more importantly, he led the last lap, which gives him the victory. The 82 car seemed to run quite well in this one with Terry Labonte. Yeah, you know the golden rule. Well, it applies in NASCAR as well. You got to treat other drivers with respect in order to earn theirs. Going in the victory lane for the second straight race. There you go. And Talladega Night Track. All right. A bad amount of money. That's good. Up to 2.2 million now. Uh, Martinsville is the next race. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that race. I don't normally run well at Martinsville. Ooh, I got a sp uh, sp Ooh. I should use that car. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about Martinsville. I don't normally perform well there, so I'm not. I'm probably not going to look forward to that. Well, last two races were good while it lasted. Now it's time for hell again, huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's we'll see. Let's check out the point standings now. Let's see, Sterling Marlin leads it by 14 points over Jeff Gordon. And look, wow. And look at all these other guys. 
Wow. Oh my god. I'm six in points all of a sudden, guys. I'm only 66 points back now. Look at that. Wow. I didn't think I was... I did that well. Wow. Okay. Guys, I'm six in the points saying 66 points back. Oh my gosh. That's... That's awesome. That's really good. Uh, team management. Let's see what's going on now. Um... Okay, I got new stuff from Marsville, but do, uh, let's see. Bring me up to 64, 64, 67, 63. Yeah, let's overhaul this one with two races. Probably just made a mistake there. I should, although, don't really need a, that fast of a race car at Martinsville, so maybe it might be good. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to save that engine for California Speedway, though. Let me see, 66 to 64, 67 to 64. Yeah, let's work on this one. Okay, for two races. And for bodies, let's see, 64, 61, 63, 60. Let's do... Now, 63, 62, that's 60, I'm gonna overhaul this one, okay, because I, see, I want, I want to save the good body, the good engine, and the good uh, chassis for California Speedway, so I'll use the not good equipment for Martinsville, shop edition's got four races left until that comes in. All right, guys, next race is going to be at Martinsville Speedway in Martinsville, Virginia for the running of the Virginia 500. So I will see you at Martinsville Speedway.